Earth before the war. New York before I was born. A place I've only seen pictures of. I know you, but we've never met. I'm with you, but I don't know your name. I know I'm dreaming, but it feels like more than that. It feels like a memory. How can that be? March 14th, 2077. Five years since a mandatory memory wipe, and I'm still haunted by these dreams. Victoria and I were assigned together. In two weeks, our mission here will be finished and we'll join the others. But the questions I ask, she doesn't. The things I wonder about, she won't. It's been half a century since the scavengers destroyed our moon. Forced to leave their own dying planet, they came to take ours. Without the moon, the Earth was thrown into chaos. Earthquakes toppled cities within hours. Tsunamis wiped out what remained. Then came the invasion. We did what we had to do. We used the nukes. We won the war, but lost the planet. Left it contaminated, most of it uninhabitable. What remained of humanity had to leave the Earth. We built the Tet, our mission control. A temporary space station before the migration to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Everyone's there now. Well, almost everyone. Until our tour is complete, Vic and I do our job. We protect the hydro rigs, which convert Earth's seawater into fusion energy for the new colony. The survival of humanity depends on it. Remnants of the scavenger army continue to disrupt the operation. They attack our drones at night and try to kill me during the day. They're still fighting them, but I don't know why. Mission says we have done well, that we are an effective team. Vic is my communications officer. She keeps an eye on me. I handle drone maintenance. The drones watch everything. Vic can't wait to go. Me, I'm not so sure. I can't shake the feeling that Earth, in spite of all that's happened, Earth is still my home.